for Pickering Scarborough East. My question is for the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Minister, last Tuesday the government tabled its budget, and it was a budget full of hard but very necessary decisions. Absolutely. There are more than 444 great municipalities in Ontario, including the two I represent in Pickering Scarborough East. Minister, these municipalities are very dependent on our government support to deliver their services. Speaker, will the minister please tell this House what the budget's impact on Ontario's municipalities is and if the uploading of municipal costs will continue, given the tough choices that have to be made? Tough minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I think everyone uh, here knows that, we're, uh, that eliminating the deficit is the most important thing we can do to move to economic growth. And I want to assure my colleague from Pickering Scarborough East that all, and all Ontarians that nothing has changed. We are committed to honouring the province, the promise that we made to our municipal partners. We will continue to upload services. We know we all have a role to play in the budget, and over the next three years we will find savings. However, the municipal uploads will continue, Mr. Speaker. They're ongoing, they're on track, and that will mean $1.5 billion more for our municipalities by 2018. And you know, Mr. Speaker, the heckling from the other side suggests that there's no support for this, but I really believe that the worst thing that could happen for Ontarians right now is an election, Mr. Speaker. What we need is we need support. We need to continue to work with our municipalities in a way that the uh, the members' yes, offices never knew how to do. Yeah, we yeah. need this budget to pass, Mr. Speaker, so we can upload those services. Supplementary. Thank you, Minister. It's great to hear that municipal uploading will continue and will no way affect our efforts to eliminate the deficit by 2017-18. Minister, you mentioned in your comments that the government is working with municipal partners in order to move forward and confront the challenges ahead. Mr. Speaker, through you to the minister, will the challenges that the proposed budget is attempting to face, will we continue to work as closely with our municipal partners as we have in the past? Thank you. Thank you. Minister. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I think one of the most important things that a provincial government can do is to work cooperatively and collaboratively with, with municipalities. So the 444 municipalities in this province know that they have a partner in this provincial government. That's why we're uploading the services that were downloaded by the previous government, Mr. Speaker. But I have a couple of quotes. So Gary McNamara, who's the president of the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, says this. Looking at the uploads, we're very pleased to see that being maintained. And a friend, and a friend um, of, the, uh, of the government, I will say, Mr. Jim Watson, the mayor of Ottawa, here's what he says. He says the government is honouring their commitment to keep the upload agreement in place. We really put our lobbying efforts into the upload and also to make sure infrastructure projects they're already committed to continue to be funded. Mr. Speaker.